everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to let you know what I'm currently reading and what I have in mind to read in the month of July. As you saw from my previous TBR, I gave you a lot of books that were currently checked out, coming on hold, and that I was excited for. And some of them you'll see again here, so I'll talk very minimally about them. But there are some new books in here that I didn't talk about last month that I've just gotten in from the library in the past few weeks, as well as what I'm currently listening to on audiobook too. Let's talk about the two things that I'm currently listening to three things that I've really started. The first one is one that I've been reading for a while and I don't know if this book is for me. I haven't really quite decided. I feel like I haven't gotten far enough into it to have a true opinion about it. I'm currently, I'd say, 100 pages into Miracle Creek or almost 100 pages and I'm listening to it while I'm reading because I found that it was hard to follow just listening so I I've only been listening when I'm reading the physical text, so that slowed me down. This book is interesting so far, but I don't know if I have any emotional attachment to any of the characters so far, or like who I think is guilty or not. Yeah, it's here. Hopefully I finish it this month. I even renewed my audiobook hold. I'm also currently listening to Push Out, and this is a book about the criminalization of black girls in schools particularly. It's really a book that explores this topic because the author feels like black girls are always left out of this conversation when it comes to the school to prison pipeline and also discrimination against black kids in school usually makes you think automatically to black boys. I'm maybe 20% of the way into it and all of what I'm listening to I'm just like slowly nodding like yes. A lot of it calls back to other things that I've read which I always enjoy. It's very very good so far. I have no complaints. I'm also listening to just started today so I'm only like 20 or 30 minutes into the audiobook, we are not from here. This is a book about escaping from Guatemala to through Mexico and then into the United States. And it's a dual perspective, which I didn't know. I thought it just followed one girl. Just shows you what it's like for them to escape and the things that they are escaping from. I've heard that it's very gritty. So far it already is. We're talking about like dead bodies and like a lot of language, which is kind of makes it a grittier YA novel than I initially anticipated but so far so good and I'm hoping that I enjoy it a lot. Let's talk about the other things that I have on audiobook that I don't have physical copies for. So one of those is Mexican Gothic which is a new release and I have the book on hold but then Libra FM has the audiobook which is really exciting because I was really far in line for the audiobook at my library. I'm happy that Libra FM is offering it so I'm excited to get to that one. I'm interested in, in like a gothic horror story. I also also got The Vanishing Half from Libra FM. I've just been hearing really good things about it. I've been filling so many holds for it at the library and also just saw that Britt Bennett got into like a huge war with all of these different streaming companies for the rights of production for it. So that's really exciting and interesting, makes me want to read it. And then one from before that I talked to my last TBR is All Adults Here by Emma Strapp, which I haven't gotten to, but it's still on my mind as something that I would like to read in the month of July. And now let's talk about the things that I have up from audiobook that I also have books for. So two of them are here. One is Perry Lotus, which I talked about in my June TBR. The audiobook hold finally came, released at the beginning of the year, but the audiobook wasn't ready until maybe like two weeks ago. So I'm excited to get to this one. And that's a historical fiction middle grade. And then another one that I just got the audiobook for that I'm excited for is The Only Black Girls in Town by Brandy Colbert. This is another middle grade. I believe it's her first middle grade. Yeah, I'm excited just for a realistic story following these two girls. I have out on Playaway and would like to listen to because it's pretty big and I don't know if I can read all of it. Um, the Warmth of Other Suns by Isabel Wilkerson. I'm newly excited about this book even though it's been on TBRs for me before. It should probably be on like a five-star TBR prediction to really get me to read it. But I'm newly interested in this book because her new book, Cast, is almost about to come out and I'm on hold for that one. It's a very anticipated book for a lot of people that have read this book, but I feel like I should read this book before I read that one. So that's why I have it out. I also have it out on audiobook. Very thick, heavy book, by the way, <laughs> but I'm hoping that I enjoy it as much as everybody else that has read this book. I feel like it's, everybody gets it an automatic five stars. So that's it for audiobooks. One that I'm still excited about is Into the Tall Tall Grass by L'Oreal Ryan. This is a story that follows a young girl and her grandmother. And then one that I have seen on audiobook, I just have to uh, put it on hold, is In Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. I talked about this in my last TBR video, so I won't go into it much, but I'm hoping to get to that one this month. Same with What is a Girl Worth by Rachel Denhalander. I talked, I've talked about this in a few videos now. I just finished watching Athlete A 
on Netflix that just came out and mm -hmm, it was very aggravating as expected. I hate USA Gymnastics and Steve Penny the most. I really want to see this from her perspective and so I really want to get to this this month because she was very involved in the documentary as well. She was one of the prominent people that was being interviewed. And then the last few that I want to talk about are all graphic novels or comics. I feel like I talked about this book as coming out soon and I was excited for it and then I checked it out and then people had it on hold. So I had to give it back and I never got to it. And it's They Called This Enemy by George Takei. So I really want to get to this one. I think one of the things that's kind of keeping me from wanting to read this is the black and white. I've gotten so used to reading comics in color. I want to read it, so I'm gonna read it this month hopefully. Another one that's in black and white that I just heard about is called Band Book Club, and it's about the Fifth Republic in South Korea in 1983, which is a military regime that used censorship, torture, and murder of protesters. And it's basically about this girl finding comfort in books during that time. They start a banned book club because they're not allowed to be reading these books. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So we'll see if it's any good. I've had two co-workers read it at work and like it, so I'm hoping that I'm the third. One that I started and I'm on chapter two-ish of is Harley Quinn Breaking Glass and this is by Mariko Tamaki and the art is by Steve Pugh. I really like the way that it looks inside. It's like kind of realistic looking and like gritty. Of course, this is an automatic checkout because of Mariko Tamaki, um, but I'm really enjoying the social themes and kind of like the pushback that the main character and her best friend kind of are aligning with and talking about in the first couple chapters. So I'm enjoying the fact that a lot of these new kind of superhero comics are really focused on looking at social issues. I just find that really interesting and it makes me want to read them more. And that's like a good way to look at superheroes, like a lens to look through them. There's another one that's coming out soon that I'm excited about, which is by Laurie Halse Anderson that follows Wonder Woman that kind of goes over the same things and I think it deals mostly with immigration. And another one that is like that is Jean Luang Yang's new book, Superman Smashes the Clan. Like this one, you can already tell it's like really looking into those historical and social justice themes of today as well. That makes me excited about this. When I was reading Dragon Hoops by him last month, he talked a lot about writing this book and that he was so excited because he grew up loving Superman. So I'm excited for him and I'm excited to get to this one and to see what he does with this history. And then last but not least, it's this cute simple book called I Will Judge You by Your Bookshelf. And it's just little short comics for our book lovers. I'll always pick up books like this, kind of like Debbie Tung's book love. So I'm excited for this one and I've heard cute things as well from a coworker. That is all of the things that I'm hoping to get to in the month of July and that I'm gonna focus on in the month of July. As always, there's, there's more stuff, but we'll see what I end up getting to this month. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're interested in any of these books, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.